Hey y'all, so I'm back with an update. Um, we don't have any results. He, now he's running a fever. His um, knee is still filling up with fluid. They don't know exactly why, what's going on with his knee. And um, so they're keeping him now because of the fever. And he's still running tests to see what type of infection is going on. And still waiting on the biopsy for the mass on his stomach. So we still playing a waiting game. So this was day six and I had a little free time. So I stopped by Crystal the Goddess Collection to get some herbal teas. I pulled up like five minutes before they was closing, but they didn't turn me around. And surprisingly, Crystal noticed me from social media. And she went in the back. She mixed up some um, teas for me. And I'm definitely going to be back. I love this place. So this is everything I received from the Goddess Collection by Crystal. This is the Fibro Fighter lotion that I put on his stomach where his mask was located three times a day. And this is all of the teas that I got. The three on the end that's not labeled was the three blends, special blends that she made for me. What well, made for Nick. Before heading to the hospital, I made Nick one of his special blends teas and this is what he's drinking and we soaking all right you trying to show them here and all that no oh, my baby all right this is day what two six no i'm talking about oh. you being here day six still the same pain still the same no results yet everything pretty much been constant since I've been in here. Um, everything feels better, of course, with pain medicine, but it always masks the truth. Um, I developed a fever also, so they're trying to get to the bottom of that. And like we say, day six, and we have results for neither. I developed a fever three days ago and it keeps spiking go down and spike and you know, we're just not getting the results at this point so whenever they do come we're gonna be real 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 appreciative mm -hmm. and again I'm very appreciative for your prayers your thoughts your kind words and um we're gonna make it through this thing one day at a time mm -hmm. Get this healing party started. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Crystal for the tea. She hooked us up. Shout out to Crystal for that motherfucking tea. Because <laughs> she hooked us up. Not bad either. Nah, it's... it's nah, it's... <laughs> Alright, y'all. We just got to okay to go home. <laughs> super, super exciting news. I'm still not out of the fire yet. We have to come back on Monday and schedule... Uh, the surgery and all within a week's time the scheduling and the surgery should be done and then we got about maybe a, up to a two week recovery process so now I'm super super excited just to begin past this, this step it's nothing cancerous like we all hoped and prayed for I appreciate all of your prayers and all your help getting past this it's and tough, this is what, tough time, this six, difficult time. Going home? Day seven. No, this day seven. This day seven. Entire... As we told y'all before, this day was day seven and Nick was released from the hospital. But once we got home, he wasn't feeling too hot. He was feeling horrible. He was moving really slow. He just wasn't himself. He was in a lot of pain and a constipation was getting unbearable for him. So the next day we decided to go back to the hospital, but we went, but we went to a different location. And um, once they evaluated him, they gave him another CT scan on day eight and they decided to keep him and they are planning on doing his surgery the very next day. What's up, people? Hey, y'all. We're back with an update. So I was released to go home on yesterday. And unfortunately, the pain and the constipation uh, got out of my control. 
Um, I thought I could control it with some meds and you know the stuff that they sent me home with, but it, it, it couldn't get it done by itself. You know, I needed you to cross the IVs and everything they had me on to completely, you know, hydrate my body and, and you know have it uh, doing its normal functions because of the placement of this uh, this mask. And um, and we had a different hospital. Yeah, I mean, still Ashna, but we came to the Ashna on uh, on uh, Jefferson Highway. That's the main campus, so it's yeah. bigger, more more stuff going on over here. So more beautiful, more you. more professional. <laughs> they getting him in. Like the last hospital wanted to schedule his surgery sometime next week. He came here today, and yeah. they wanted to do it today or tomorrow. So they yeah. they getting it done over here. Yeah, so, they not playing. So basically, I've been put on uh, what is it called? The NPO. Um, mm -hmm. I'm saying that right. Um, I can't drink or eat anything, uh, and that's basically prepping me for the surgery on tomorrow. Um, and um, yeah, that's a tough thing in itself because you know, I mean, even though I haven't been eating much, like I say. It's going I'm pretty on sure you lost two some. Weeks now. Did they weigh you? I'm um, pretty sure they, you lost some. some it's pounds. going on almost two weeks now, and I lost. Um, I, I well, not lost. I'm sorry. It's going on almost two weeks now, and I've only been eating vegetables, um, fruit, um, fruit and, water. and water. You know, and drinking water. So, um, been trying to stay on a light diet because it's very, very hard for my. You know my digestive system and my, mm -hmm. um, you know my stomach and everything to process things. So I try to keep it as light as I can. Um, but yeah, we just coming to y'all, giving y'all an update, man. I know that you know we've been absent from the scene for a little bit mm -hmm. uh, since our last videos, and uh, I, I've been going through this thing for quite some time, and yes. didn't want to leave y'all. Because I know we, you know, we, we go on these dry spells sometimes mm -hmm. and, you know, this time is my fault. So I wanted to give a reasonable explanation and kind of let y'all know how I'm feeling. And no where, expiration where date. <laughs> where we at with things. So well, finally having surgery, prayers, hopefully it is tomorrow. It should be tomorrow. Yeah. I wonder what would determine if it won't be tomorrow. I don't know. That's above my pay grade. I just lay here and take the pain, man. That's what I do. So we'll update y'all tomorrow and let y'all know what happened. And again, super, super thankful and appreciative for y'all prayers, y'all likes, y'all support, y'all the comments, subscribers, the y'all keep us going. Y'all make me want to make this video because I listen. I don't think I'm important. I don't think people really care about me that much. Mm -hmm. But when I read y'all comments and things like that, you know, it completely uplif uplifts my spirit, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure it does the same thing for my family as well. Mm -hmm. And we're super, super appreciative. So thank y'all. Much love. Hugs. See kisses. See y'all tomorrow for an update. To everybody out there, man. Peace out. Peace. Today's the day. You want to say something? Game time. I got my game face. Yeah. Let's get it on. <laughs> Everyone say y'all's goodbyes. We're gonna take great care of them. See you later. Bye. See you later. Yeah, just for a little while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Thank you and get back, baby. Bye bye. Thank y'all for such great care. Thank you. Um, okay. Wait, let me try to phone one. Let me try to phone one. Hey y'all. So I am back with an update. Nick finally had surgery yesterday. And um, he was a little discouraged because they told him that surgery was going to start at 11 and it started after 12. So he didn't think it was going to happen. But it happened once they went in. Uh, they saw that the mass was pushed against his intestines and it kind of caused like a dent in it. And that's what really was causing his pain. Once they removed it, they saw a lot of infection. It was pus. And um, so they cleaned all of that up. Now he's going to be on antibiotics and it's going to take him a little longer to recover, the doctor said, than he expected. So it's going to take him a, a little over six weeks to recover from his surgery. 
and he has to stay in a hospital another four to five days and go through therapy and then after that he'll be back home they was able to remove the mask because they found out that it was not cancerous that was like the biggest stress reliever for us because we were so worried that it was and because we found out that his um his great grandmother had the same exact thing in her stomach hers was the size of a golf ball and hers was cancerous and she passed away and then also his grandfather also had the same thing and it was cancerous and he passed away so we was like really really worried and stressed out and i could not like hold it together at, at sometimes but um like we are so relieved i am we so happy that it's not it wasn't cancer it's not cancerous and it's out of his body so happy that it's out of his body and now the hard part is over which was surgery profane language mother is not inappropriate where's your mother Love is a one in a million It goes on